Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. We have The Dredge, Episode 2. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture. I've been considering crap pots. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but it could you could fix it at the shipwright. Okay. Oh, now my fish. So we catch uh, crabs. Nine. I've got a customer after a filler crab and a common crab. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inside of his stomach in a small shape can be seen against the pot. Bulging scales. He slices the fish open from its stomach. He pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Ho oh ho! Nice. Well, I've never seen that thing before in my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. So I'm glad you find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Indeed you did, buddy. Indeed you did. Alright. Hmm. Maybe you could buy, like, a couple more. Let's see how good it is first. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadows. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isles. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. That's a little sketchy. Sure, might. Alright, select the crab pot ability with E and deploy it with... Plenty, eh? So we'll catch a bunch of crabs around here. Alright, we all know where Blackstone Io is. This is where the guy's place was and it was all like, locked down. The man isn't standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. <sighs> you came good, allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curious that occupy the periphery of desire. And if you have something for me, you can give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sinks many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenged. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me those last wrecks, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not to give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and key. I would encourage you to ask us around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrence. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay. Oh. Dang it. Bolt of cloth. Ah! A little challenging at first. There you go. Research part. Yes! 
I don't know what that uh, purple Yura is. Whoa! What was that? There's a big splash. But for now, let's go talk to the lighthouse keeper. Um, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Mm, she eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Merrill, where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best to move on. Mm. Lives in the Blackstone Isles. I see a lot of people from up here, you know. I saw that little fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. I don't know what I'm doing out here, but honestly... All right, let's talk to the builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dock side, staring out to you on the sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's difficult. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Um... It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. See if you find me some uh, materials. Maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap. That's all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. <laughs> just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Man, that sounds like a big job. Okay, so we've got the fishing pole, flexible fishing pole, dang, it's 400 bucks, but that means I can sell this bad boy, the coastal and the shallow, yeah, and then we can buy the flexible, it's wonderful. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, we got that uh, up and running. We do need to get uh, more research parts. Let's see how much uh, crabs we caught from here. Well, we got any crabs for that water? Oh, the big crab and the small crab. Okay, there's a wreckage right here. Can we inspect? All that's left in this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Let's look inside. Ooh. Heck yeah. Old iron chain. Okay. Got some jewelry. Alright, picked up that stuff. Inspect the stone. Hums quietly. Sending ripples through the air around it, faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. What? Let's get the stingers. Whoa. Dang it. Oh. Like that. They're, they're big. Stingray, baby. Stingray. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that pay cool. Yeah. Like Whoa. Won't we'll take group. Whoa. Yeah. Night fishing is the way to go. It's a big grouper, baby. Yeah. 
Yeah. So eight fishes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Like the harder the thing is, it spins so fast. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Please don't panic. Yeah, scraps. other shit people too. I don't like the music. Oh shoot, my boy's panicking really hard. Right. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. I think bad things happen. morning. Dang it, we got no room for that. Alright, my boy is panicking. Mm. Hello, panicking. Are oh, you exhausted? You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As always, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Ooh, it does hurt my eye. I'm not gonna lie. Sell this bad boy. Whoops. Something slithers into your cargo hold. What the heck? Oh. These bottles. Morning of the second day honeymoon. I don't know what that means. No. Infected? How dare they infect my thing? I don't know what happens. I guess we'll find out, right? Oh well, god, what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh! There's a big fish. Yo! Necessary materials, you should look building now. Yeah, let me sleep first, jeez. That was terrible. That dude hit my ship like no other. Reading, check for bonuses. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fishing rod. Rods will reel and fish 10% more efficient, effectively. That's cool. We get to read these books and it upgrades our uh, passive skills. Okay. Not the fish we're looking for. Ooh, yes. The fish we've been looking for. bucks glad you get some uses of the old pot you can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard I have one final request for you as you've seen some fish around here can develop odd deformities what do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of this one that means they get sick well 
Perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. I say yes. Uh, this is aberrant. Clutches it close to his chest, ringing. Yes. This should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Heck yeah! You hear that? It sounded like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hand begins to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need and leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly, now. Don't know what you gotta do. Alright. You hear the heavy scraping of metal bars sliding across the... Okay. I wish there was a... a sorting thing, you know? Oh yeah, we gotta tell the builder that we built her house. You've done it, we're in all sense of time, let's get moving. Oh, I gotta put you in my boat? Dang it. Okay, good and ready to do I'm on one. Found. Alright, let's drop the builder off. Yes, this dude, thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into a toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. <laughs> Take these. Always good to have to have on hand. Heck yes. So doing quests are very important in this game. Uh, this looks like a boat. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There's no signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Let's call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? I'm going to say a fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Merrill, but I'm being stopped. Okay. A huge Leventhian lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung into the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I didn't bolt it for the shadows. I'm not going any further into this accursed. Oh, uh, island chain. Uh. Island chain. I could deliver the little package to mirror for you. Mm. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Alright. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squeezes slightly as you take it to your hands. Dark fluid ounces from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at the little marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you think this through? Again, an item emerges from the uh, door hole. This time a book is pushed thuds. The duck below, you pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the call is clear. Safe travels. Alright, we keep finding weirder and weirder things against this curse and this ocean place to fish let's get this Ooh, can we get it ah god dang it Talk to the dock worker. How's the day treating ya? Um, I've got a package here for you, buddy. A uh, delivery, eh? It's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hand. He lifts it to his one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you excuse me, wish me luck. 
He turns and hurries down to the dock without another word to you or compensation. What the heck? I want my compensation. What the freak? <sighs> Grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more PSFS mementos here with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle. Ooh, I accidentally saw that. Wait, I think I have that. Bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'll recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you can find it, I'll be in your debt. You explained that you found a belt buckle, but it's currently in your storage. Please bring it to me. I know I need to know if it's his. Anything else I can help you with. About that belt buckle. You explained that you found a belt buckle, but it's in currently. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. Alright. I almost sold this thing too. What the heck? All right, so I guess it's not good to sell everything. Oh, <laughs> All right, let's talk to the grieving father. Uh, I'll give it to you. Get the bell buckle. This is this is. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned them to me. Please take this. I have not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to it. Heck yes. So it pays to be a good person. What the heck? Finally a game that pays good people. Um, do you know any shipwrecks around here? Hmm. I better go. Alright, if y'all did enjoy this series or this gameplay, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, I shall see you in the next episode. Cheers, stay cousin. A peace.